Hi everybody. So as you join me now, I am connecting the front bulkhead to the battery arms slash front like wire pass through. And then once again I disappear. Yep, so there it is attached to the skin. Uh, so at this point, Vans tells you to uh, take the skin, so you click that uh, piece on, and then you take the skin and he wants you to put it between two sawhorses. Uh, well, I only have one sawhorse. Pardon me, just having a sip from a zesty adult beverage. It's 5 o'clock, sorry, it's 4 o'clock, it's Friday. It's uh, time for a uh, GNT. Anyway, so they tell you to go ahead and turn it upside down, put it across two saw horses. I didn't have two saw horses, so I found that using the other table, uh, that way it, it is very good because I can adjust the height of it. I can uh, add stuff up and down to it, and I can move it around at will, so I kind of prefer leaving it on a, to that. So in the beginning, what you're doing, so you've got it hanging upside down because those bulkheads, you know, they're only attached to the bottom, and they're not very thick but they will flop around and I'm afraid if you did have that thing sitting upright without proper support for those uh, bulkheads that you could just easily hit your arm into one and do some permanent damage to one. So it's just easier for the time being to kind of have it hang down. I'm sure there's other reasons but that's the main one that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, in the first phase of construction, so we'll be clecoing and riveting in and there I am with a pin uh, where you can and cannot rivet uh, the ribs and some stiffeners and that uh, three-piece battery box and then the front uh, pass-through that you can see right there so I, I call it the pass-through because through that uh, you're gonna have your uh, rudder cables go through you're gonna have your elevator uh, you're gonna have all the electronics you're gonna have uh, all kinds of stuff you're gonna see it's a lot so Now it gets a little interesting because uh, it's all J channels down there and so you can only rivet from one direction on one side right so the when I say rivet from one side like the uh, shop head will be on the far side of a bulkhead or on the near side thankfully Vance positions them so that it's uh, the easiest to actually do the riveting still it, it is very tedious with one person so And you don't rivet everything. So there's a pattern that you draw on the bottom uh, to make sure that you only rivet the ones that you need to. Because everything, like there's some around the edge, uh, you won't rivet that stuff to anything for a while. I mean, like the rivets at the very front edge, obviously you don't want to rivet those. I mean, those are the ones that will attach to the main fuselage, which uh, I will get started on one day. If, it ever, if I can ever get done with this tail cone. It's a lot of work. So I'm doing a typical star pattern. So I'm starting at the very sort of middle of the uh, bottom skin, which is around the uh, second bulkhead, and starting in the center and kind of flowering out from there. So going up the sides towards the side of the bottom skin and then kind of moving forward and backwards. Now I know you're thinking, hmm, you're doing a lot of riveting, but you're not actually going down and looking at the rivets. <clears throat> I I did. I did a bunch. After a few thousand rivets, you can feel on the end. So, you know, you buy these little rivet gauges, these metal uh, rivet gauges. And uh, you can tell, uh, you know, it lets you know what size a number 40 rivet uh, shop head should be, or a number 30, etc. Uh, after a couple of thousand rivets, you pretty much can just tell that by the tip of your finger. So you rivet and you feel underneath. If you doubt yourself, you go down and you look and you see that you were right again. So anyway, we will continue on with the construction in the next video. See you soon.